Hey everybody, welcome to this video and we are going to be covering publishing workbooks via the Tableau REST API and specifically uh, how do you hide views when you publish? So this question came up recently. Um, I realized that there wasn't a video on it yet, at least not one that I'd made. So here we go. Uh, let's start out by just looking at the Tableau REST API reference, which is where you should always begin um, if you want to know if something is possible using the REST API. And if we look at the published workbook uh, endpoint that's supported in the actual uh, REST API reference, so this is Tableau's own documentation, then we can see that it does support hiding views when you publish workbooks. Okay, so now that we know it's possible, is there a library out there which has implemented this functionality? And I'm only going to speak to the library that I maintain, which is Tableau API lib. And yes, this is supported. So let's jump through some uh, a demonstration uh, where we're going to publish a workbook without specifying uh, that we want to hide any views, take a look at what the result is, and then we'll go back into the code, we'll publish um, a workbook with a couple of views hidden, the, well, the, the same workbook, uh, but with a couple of views hidden. Then we will try to publish a workbook with all views hidden and we'll see what happens. Uh, okay, so here's our Tableau server, our test uh, server that we're publishing to. You can see that we're sitting inside a project here called Publishing Tutorials and we don't have uh, the workbook here yet because uh, we haven't published it. So let us do that. Uh, right now we're inside a Jupyter notebook in uh, my PyCharm IDE. Uh, if this doesn't look like how you usually write Python code, that's fine. You can write your code however you want as long as you're running it using Python and you have the correct uh, configuration details for your server environment and everything. Um, and you have the right permissions, then everything will work for you. So I'm going to just import the code that we need or you know, import the, um, the package that we need in order to establish our Tableau server connection. And I'm also going to import some querying functionality that's gonna let us know um, some details about the project that we are publishing to. So go ahead and run this, uh, this configuration. There's another video out there called Getting Started with Tableau API Lib. Uh, if you have no idea what you're looking at right now, I recommend that you watch that video. Uh, essentially, we're just passing in some credentials that we need to uh, log into the environment that we've defined here. Okay, so we define our configuration and then we are going to sign in. Um, we are using Tableau API lib here, so all the methods kind of mirror what you would find in the REST API reference. So if you go out there and you look up how to sign in, you'll notice that there is a sign in endpoint uh, supported. So that's what we're using in that REST API reference documentation. You could also see that a response code of 200 means that you've successfully signed in. I'm just kind of giving you all this information because maybe you don't want to use someone else's library and you want to code this all up from scratch. That's totally fine. You could do that. Uh, and now you know a little bit of what to expect. Okay, so we sign in, um, we sign in successfully. Now we need to get the local unique identifier uh, for our projects. So let's just use the querying functionality uh, of the Tableau API lib library to easily obtain this information. Now in the background, we're just using more uh, REST API uh, endpoints to get this information and the library that we're using makes this really easy. Uh, if you did not use this library or if you use another one, you'll just have to find the equivalent um, behavior, equivalent code you would need to run in order to get your project information and uh, extract what you want from that. So in this case, we just care about the project names and the IDs. Uh, so we saw earlier out here that we're in the publishing tutorials project. So we'll look for that one in this column here for name, uh, publishing tutorials. And we can see down here that I've just copied and pasted this, uh, this ID for this project that I wanna publish to. Uh, why do we need this ID? Uh, well, we need that. Let me just make sure I run all these 
cells. Uh, keep myself honest here. We need that project ID whenever we're using this publish workbook method. So uh, if we go back out here to the, the endpoint for publishing, we'll just see that um, that a project ID is something that you always need to send in when you're publishing. So down here, you can actually see this request body that's required. You know, if you were coding this up from scratch or if you wanna know what's going on in the background, uh, this is a, uh, a payload that's going to be delivered to Tableau server whenever you're interacting with the, the REST API. And in order for Tableau to know where it's going to be publishing your workbook, it has to know what project it's publishing to. So anyways, we have that information. Uh, we know where our file exists. In this case, I just have this file in the same directory where my code is being run. Uh, if that wasn't the case for you, then you would need to do you know, your uh, you know, directory one slash some other directory slash you know, whatever your file path is to where that uh, piece of content is, where that workbook is. So for me, this is my file path. And then the workbook name, this is just the name that the workbook is going to have once it's published. So after we run this code, we should be able to go out to my Tableau server, look for the workbook named this inside the project that we're publishing to, and then we'll see what's there. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, we can just verify quickly here what we've published. Uh, so this response, when we say response equals this attempt to publish, then what's going to happen is the uh, that response comes back to us and we can access that as JSON, like I'm doing here, which gives us this structure that we see. So we can see that we, uh, we did have a successful publishing. It's telling us what we published. Uh, we could see all the various view names that were published and we'll use this in a bit when we want to uh, hide specific views. So let's just go back out to the server environment, take a look at uh, the uh, project that we published this to, and we can see uh, here in publishing tutorials that we now have this um, published with no hidden sheets. If we go in here, we can see there are four sheets and that's just the default behavior. So this workbook has four sheets within it. We published all of them, and now let's uh, let's go through how we would hide some of these sheets. So maybe we just want to get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, in this case, I think I'm calling out two sheets that we want to hide: um, the hourly price range and the hourly percent price change. You'll notice that that's just the literal text that those view names have when it's published here. So let's say we want to hide those. How does that look? Well, we can just define a list here of those um, those names, the sheets that we want to hide. And we go through the same motions we did before. We have the file path to our workbook. We have what we want this thing to be called in the uh, server environment. In this case, I changed the name a little bit. So now it's publish with two hidden sheets as opposed to last time publish with no hidden sheets. And uh, so let's see what happens. Um, after we uh, plug in this information that's required for Tableau uh, to know that we want to hide some sheets. First of all, we're setting this hide view flag to true. And then we are setting this workbook views to hide um, parameter or passing in an argument here that is the, uh, the list that we defined containing the names of the views that we wanted to hide. So let's go ahead and run that and take a look at the output. Again, it looks like we were successful. And if we scroll through here and look at the names of the views that were published, we can see this time there are only two of them. Out here in the um, publishing tutorials project, we can now see publish with two hidden sheets. And if we open this up, we can see that there are now only two views visible. The two other sheets that we called out that we wanted to hide have successfully been hidden. Um, now, it, it is good to know that if you were to download this workbook, you would actually get all of the sheets. So just because they're hidden when published up to Tableau server, uh, that doesn't mean that you don't have access to those sheets at all anymore. If you were to download the workbook and you want to do some iterations on it, you still have those sheets and then you can unhide them in the future if you'd like. 
Okay, so then just to close things off, we can see that in the REST API documentation, they mention that an attempt to publish a workbook with all of the views hidden will fail. Uh, this makes sense because you're basically publishing nothing. And uh, we can just confirm out here in the documentation that they do actually say this. Yes, uh, you cannot publish a workbook if all sheets are hidden. Uh, so we can just test this out and define uh, as our views to hide every one of those sheets that was in there and try to run this and we can see that we get this error coming back from Tableau server. Uh, by the way, if you are working with the REST API, even if you're using someone else's library, hopefully uh, the library is written in a way where you can actually see what the error code is. Uh, this is not an error code of the Tableau API lib library. This is, uh, you know, the Tableau API lib library tries to be um, hands off as much as possible and just, you know, kind of being an interface for you to communicate with the endpoints available from the, uh, the REST API reference. It's kind of why the, the methods uh, that exist in this library so closely mirror what you see in the API reference. It's a, the idea um, is that you could find an endpoint in the documentation and then you could find a method that uh, mirrors that naming in this library. But anyway, so uh, we're, we're just getting literally the error that was passed through the library from Tableau and we could look up these codes if we were to go out to this endpoint and we just scroll through the, doc the documentation. You're going to find, you know, what a response code looks like when it's successful, but then you're also going to find some error codes. So in this case, we got that error code. Uh, what was it? Yeah, 400011 publishing error. The workbook could not be published for some other reason than those specified earlier. Okay, so at this point, you know, we know why this uh, this error exists because just like Tableau had warned us, we are, if you try to publish a, a workbook with all sheets hidden, it's gonna fail. Uh, we can kind of figure out that's why this is failing. But at this point, if you run into these errors and you check the documentation first and you still don't know what's going on, then that's a great time to uh, reach out to the forums uh, and ask your question and see if someone, um, you know, either one of the data dev ambassadors or uh, perhaps some other member of the community uh, has been through what you're going through and might have an answer for you. So that's where we're going to cut off this video. Uh, we will sign out, which um, which just makes it to where your the the token that your session has been using to communicate with the REST API gets invalidated. So uh, that just prevents you from any kind of uh, on the off chance you have someone, you know, inspecting your uh, the, the communications between you and Tableau server or something. You don't just leave this uh, this open door for someone to take that uh, that token that you are using and keep doing things with your server. You just close the door on all of that by signing out. All right. So that's a wrap for this video. Um, hope this helps somebody out there who's trying to publish workbooks. Uh, and hiding views as well. So see you around.